I have good news for you. Egypt has suspended their constitutional panel. Somebody get Bill Crystal on the phone, will you? Let him know how right he... Ethel, Ethel, get Bill Crystal on the phone. We've got to let him know how right he really was. <laughs> no, no, uh-uh, no. Gosh, man, was I stupid to ever jump on the ridiculous conclusion that this Egyptian revolution thing might turn out to be a bad thing. Joke's on me, I guess. Bill, you're too smart. Remind everybody here, if you will, Tiffany, what Bill Crystal said just a few months skeptics ago. Skeptics have been too have been proven to be too skeptical. The naysayers have, who've said oh, it could never happen, it's going to be violent. Uh, his departure will mean the Muslim Brotherhood taking over the next day, or or total chaos in the streets of Egypt. They've been proven wrong. And the notion that the Egyptian people have managed to pull off this democratic, uh, peaceful uh, removal of a dictator, and now have a s seemingly pretty stable situation in the streets of Cairo and the other big cities with a guarantee or at least a promise of a transition uh, to free and fair elections mm -hmm. and no real sense that those elections are going yet that those elections are going to go in some terrible direction for the US uh, or for Egypt itself I, I think it, I think this may be a case where uh, the normal worldly pessimism is too pessimistic yeah. and the normal cynicism is too cynical mm -hmm. and one has a, a right to actually be hopeful yeah. about these developments <laughs> let me tell you something good call on that one bill are you a soothsayer I mean I don't, I don't know do you have your are you like one of those people that you know, drive by in like downtown, really shady parts of town, you're like, psychic, I gotta pull over, I gotta go. Is that what you do for a living? Because that was good. By the way, the panel uh, that was suspended was supposed to draft the country's new constitution, but the exciting news doesn't stop there. Egypt and the majority Islamists are now aligning themselves with Iran. Another nutty thing that I said could happen, but I was told no because they're Sunnis and Shias and they'll never get along. And I said, no, they'll get together for the destruction of the West. They'll do that. But I'm no Bill Crystal. I'm not very good at this stuff, not like Billy Boy. Here's what happened. We helped the Muslim Brotherhood gain power. Then our president comes out and says the Muslim Brotherhood isn't all that dangerous. Really? Now that the Muslim Brotherhood is turning to Iran, are we gonna recognize that? Hey, what do you say we stop writing them checks? Here's three quick examples of how dangerous the Muslim Brotherhood is in Egypt. Bill Crystal, you might wanna write this stuff down. The Muslim Brotherhood candidate for president is promising ultra-conservative Muslim clerics a say over legislation ensuring that it will be in line with Islamic law, also known as Sharia which would make both women and religious minorities second-class citizens. Oh. You know what we need to do is we need to talk about the war on women. Uh, people like Rick Santorum are you know, just stirring up. Forget about the Middle East. No, we're in bed with the Oval Office. Let's bring them into the Oval Office. Then there's a little problem of attacking Christians, attacks by Islamic extremists, including Muslim Brotherhood members, on Coptic Christians who are roughly 10% of Egypt's population. For instance, on October 2011, churches were attacked. On November 2011, Coptic Christians were attacked. Uh, no New Year's Day, two dozen worshipers attacked. Bombs went off. A hundred injured. Okay, all right. But surely there's no anti-women examples. The Muslim Brotherhood, you know, hopes to ban bikinis and alcohol, <laughs> you know. I mean, you get bikinis and alcohol together, it's naughty stuff. Naughty, spanking right now, okay? Ooh. But if Sharia law takes hold in Egypt, as we seem to be headed for, women would be also banned from driving. In a bikini? No, fully clothed, too. Showing their faces in public. And thank goodness the madness of dancing will end. Okay? That just gives them more time in the kitchen, right? Am I right, guys, or am I right? Excuse me? All these things would just be prudent steps. Anywho, nobody needs to dance. I mean, that just leads to dumb shows like Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> you don't need that kind of thing in Cairo, where they're so much more intellectual than we are here. Bill also could apparently see in his crystal ball how non-anti-Israel the Muslim Brotherhood would turn out to be. Mm, kind of sloppy on that one. Here's the Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood member stating how he really feels. Watch. Uh, 
في ان القدس العربيه بشرقها وغربها تبقى عاصمه لدوله فلسطين ويعود اليهود الملاعين من حيث اتوا وتعود الحقوق الفلسطينيه كامله يعني حق العوده وحق الع... وحق وحق اللاجئين و... 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 وتهيير وتطهير الارض العربيه كامله من كل دنس صهيوني. That sounds good, doesn't it? Earlier this year, a Muslim Brotherhood spokesperson said that the militant group will neither speak nor meet with Israeli officials. That's not going to end up well. They added that the Brotherhood's stance on Israel is unwavering and not up for discussion. By the way, there are three candidates in Egypt running for president who have currently or currently have ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, this comes after they said they definitely, 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 no, definitely would not field a candidate. Rain Man, definitely. We give Egypt billions of dollars in aid, and now they are aligning with Iran, our enemy. And our ally, Israel, is on the outs. This all brings me to this. The big box of Bill Crystals. Could you get, a, could you get the trash can? Um, I'm sorry, the file cabinet. The, the, get the round one. The really big round one. Brings me to the big box of Bill Crystals. You know how people say, get a box of clues. I got a big box of clues. I got a big box of Bill Crystals right here. Okay. So, Bill, remember what you said? You said that Egypt would never align themselves with Iran because it's Shia in Iran and Sunnis in Egypt. And it's like the Hatfields and McCoys. Bill, it's happening. Yeah. You, you said, oh, you know, another thing that'll never happen, they'll never... The, they're not going to run for Congress over there. It, it happened. All right, and another thing you said, they're not going to run for president. The Muslim Brotherhood is. Yeah, that happened too. And it's going to work out fine, you're sure, because it didn't happen in a day. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep the box. Get a clue, Bill. Get a clue. We got a box where you can keep it in when you find it.